So Billy, a 3-2 win here at Pontefract Collieries in the first qualifying round of the FA Cup. Just some of your thoughts after that match. Um, it, uh, well, it was a typical cup tie, wasn't it? We had the rain, we had the slippy surface, the long grass, the flat balls, the anything and everything. Um, it, it was fair play to Ponte, you know, I think they've... I thought at 3-1 they'd be finished and, and if we could have got the next goal they probably would have done but what a spirited performance by them um, and, and manager must be really proud of them um, tonight and I think if they continue that far it's not hard to see why they've not been beating the league that they're in um, and it's easier to see why they've put two teams out front division above them out of the cup as well so you know we wish them well um, it's always a difficult place to come um, you know I think initially we've, we thought the rain would make it a, a bit better for us because it, it, it you know, I think most pitches need watering now anyway. So, but because it kept coming and coming and coming, it, it just turned it into it was really difficult to get hold of the ball. I thought we had a 20 minute spell in the first half where we looked really, really good and really positive and in control. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, Connor Sellers, a little bit of magic um, for his two goals, the header and the second goal was brilliant. He's made it himself. And then Charlie Bins with a little bit of uh, creativity and the technique to pull it off as well as seen us through. Yeah, um, were you worried in the last 10 minutes when they pulled that second goal back? They uh, threw everything at us and, like I said, the, the rain just never let up today, did it? Well, you're always worried. In, in When it's a cup tie like that, you've got nothing to lose. And I said that to the lads before the game is that they, when you're playing higher opposition as a, as a football team, you've nothing at all to lose. You've everything to gain. So you just go out and enjoy yourself. And their, their front three who we'd watched and said they would be a, a bit of a handful and... and, and you know they were direct into them and quite rightly so and they put us under pressure and it were very nervy at the back end there where you know to be fair to them they had a, a big shout for a penalty appeal I mean for me personally I just thought Jordan had he'd fouled Lewis to get in front of him and then Lewis had fouled him so I just thought it was six and two threes myself and I don't think the referee had a great view of it in any way um, so you know we're through this one. We've we've got to move on now. We've we've a massive game next week against Cliverow at home in the league again. Um, you know and we'll we'll, we'll train midweek. We we try to utilise the squad today. You know we've been careful with the players that we've used. We've tried to bring players in the squad who haven't perhaps had much pitch time and they, they've got through the tie. Yeah, I believe the draw for the second qualifying round of the Emirates FA Cup is on Monday. This is a stage where the Conference North sides enter the competition. Anyone you fancy? Uh, just an on time for me, Jay, to be fair, because, you know, it, it's if, if we're playing at home, we know what we're going to get. Um, but it's the the beauty of being in the competition. It, it, it's it's a brilliant competition. You know, a couple of years ago, Railway went to Colwyn Bay away, who were a conference side at the time. And we had a brilliant day out as a football club. And I think for us here at Taddy, you know, if we get a... If we get an away tie, then a good away tie. That, that's someone who's got a really good following because, you know, we've got one of the best followings at our level anywhere in the country, and they're absolutely brilliant. They're nice and loud again behind the stand today, behind that goal, and they drive you on. And you know, hopefully, we can have a good day out. Well done today, Billy. We'll see you next Saturday. Thanks.